So we'll keep our eye on the Wavelight technology, which is going to be helping us judge the pace. You can see the blue and the green lights already making their way round. The green light is for the overall world record pace. The blue lights are at certain splits. Of course, the pace can vary throughout the course of the race. They'll ask for certain injections at certain times. So the blue lights we're expecting to vary. Sometimes that will be ahead of the uh, green lights. Sometimes it will be behind. But the green lights overall are the world record pace. The world record held by Gonzebe de Barba stands at 8.16.60. So they're looking at roughly 32 and a half per lap if you split it all the way around, Jenny. And that looked pretty on pace to me. Now we can see the motivation of Cesse there. She's followed the pace. And significantly for me, that the blue lines, the pace that Sege has asked the pacemakers to go through in, are ahead of the green lines. I hope you're following this. The green lines are world record time, don't forget. So the green lines are economical. If you would run the 3,000 meters, completely economical. But the real significance is that Sege has asked, let's get ahead of that green light. Let's get ahead for maybe half the race or so. She wants them to go out pretty quick, then she can hang on the back of that. And Chris, I've got to say, Sige, we've watched her a couple of times already on the World Indoor Tour. We've watched her in a 1500 meter world record attempt. We've watched her in a one mile world indoor record attempt. Both of those occasions, she fell off the pace, but she went through significantly quicker than the world record. So I think this is more sensible today. Well, they're right on it at the moment, the two pacemakers, Nadia Power of Ireland and Birka Hylom of Ethiopia are the two preceding. Power is going to take it to 1,000 metres, Hylom expected to take it to 2,000. The chasing pack is headed by Coco Klosterhaufen, who won the German Championship last week. Didn't have it all her own way, she was challenged by the impressive Hannah Klein to win that. Klosterhaufen just recently back from a spell of warm weather training in Kenya. She's in the second group of four that you can just see there who are around about 15 or 20 metres behind, with uh, a trio of the other athletes in that group as well. We can see Mizan Allen, we can see Kateri of Kenya, and I think Margaret Akidor of uh, Kenya is also in that group as we pick that up now. Confirmation, those are the athletes in that chasing group of four behind Klosterhaufen. And we can also see another light. Just to confuse you, we've got so much technology, which is great to see. There's a white light. So you can see Coco Pocahontan is following that white light. That pace is set on a European record figure, which currently stands at Laura Muir at 8.26.41. So, so much going on here. As we see Nadia Power, the first pacemaker, just drop out, but she has done a fantastic job. 1,000 metres ticked off completely at world record pace. So now it's handed over just the 17-year-old, the world under-20 champion over 1,500 metres, Birkir Hylam, looking to take them through to 2,000 in around about 5.25 or so. Often we see Sigai against the clock, and it's a, a solo run, as you say, Jen, and sometimes she can, has got a little bit excited at times and has gone blazing out, but I think you're right to say this one seems a little bit more sensible. She's right in the midst of those blue and green pacing lights. That chasing group is now just stringing out behind slightly, cross to Halpen, and also Alem are just stretching away from the brace of Kenyans, Akidor and Gateri. Well, this pace is on, and we've also got a good race on behind. You can see Coco plus and half in there. She's used to running out on her own. In fact, she ran a very fast time, 8.34, to win that German championships at the weekend. It was almost a personal best for her. But back to the front of this race, and what superb pacing. I've got to say, Gustav Sige, she looks good. She looks in control to me. She's not got ahead of those lights, and she's really, really appreciating the work that Halem is doing for her there in front. We're just about to go through halfway here, and looking at the clock at the moment, it's around about 4.06, 4.07 through halfway. Remember, that world record mark is 8.16.6. Well, it's bang on that record, isn't it? And we can just see, actually, they're just dropping a couple of metres off now. So Sige, at this point, she needs to decide, what am I doing? How good do I feel? Do I want a couple of other laps ticked off? No, she realises. She says, I've got to get back on these lights. And I think she'll appreciate. She's had 1,600 metres of help. She's still got a, lap, a lot of laps to go, still seven laps. 
but you can see that she's striding out now. And is she making a couple of metres up? I think she may be. Well, she's left the pacemaker, Birka Highland, behind now. He's going to step off very shortly. He was due to take it through to 2,000 metres, but Sigai has her own ideas. Coco Klosterhaufen just out of shot in the background, by the way, is just slipping behind those white lights, which is the European record pace as well. But Sigai now trying to stick gamely to those green lights. And that record mark held by Genzeba de Barba said in Stockholm, 816.60. Well, Sige has run at six seconds short of that, but she has run the second fastest time in history. So it's always about world records, but we've got to appreciate what we're seeing from this athlete. And we just saw the chasing group now. It is down to two athletes. It is Alem and it is Kostenhofen. As the crowd here are really trying to get behind the leader, Sige. And Costa Hyphen, she's been doing all the work out there, hasn't she, in front. She's took that chasing group through 2,000 metres. Well, again, just to emphasise, they were aiming for 525, 526 at 2,000 metres. It was actually about 531, I think, the official split. But Sigai is still right amongst those green lights. So we talk about the variation in pace and those blue lights now. It's obviously on even pace for the rest of it. She's got a lap at around about, well, it was 32 and a half or so. She might have to make up a little bit of that now, but she's clinging on to the back of the green snake, if you like, that is slithering away in the distance at the moment, but she's on the tail of it. And the Birmingham crowd are reacting to this. This is one of the fastest times that we've ever seen in history. Her personal best is 8.22.65. Only Genzebi Di Barba back several years ago has beaten that, those world record figures of 8.16.60. And here she goes. She's now got three laps to go, 600 metres. It's a good distance for Sege, this. She did the double at the World Championship. She picked up a medal in the 1500 metres and she won at the 5000 metres. This is the athlete in the world who's really on form. Well, with three laps to go, she had 99 seconds to cover those three laps, so you can do the maths. Here's Klosterhaufen, meanwhile, and Alum in that chasing group at the moment, who are probably, as we look out of the arena here, about 75 metres behind, as you can see there, top left of your shot, that second and third. Klosterhaufen and Alem on the chasing group. The uh, big group of Europeans further back in the field being led by Kieran Lucan, as we see the athletes down the back straight, about to get lapped by Sige. Yeah, we can just see Eloise Walker there. She was third in the British Championships, and that just gives you a real clear indication of this true world-class run that we're seeing her here from Segai. To be overtaking someone who can medal at the national championships. So here we go, Segai, she's just behind that world record pace, but this is personal best pace for Segai. This could be the second fastest time that we've ever seen in history, but can she catch the lights? Sege now against the clock with 100 metres to go. Good half Segei chasing down the world record held by Genzebi de Barba, which stands at 8 minutes 16.60. The crowd inside the arena in Birmingham are willing her on. She's getting close. She's getting very close. Can she do it? She's just outside. By a tenth of a second. Can you believe it? She gave it absolutely everything. It's the second fastest run we've ever seen as we see Alem come home for a brave second place ahead of Klosterhaufen. Well, good up, Sigai. Nearly paced it to absolute perfection and fell agonizingly short. Well, I'm out of breath and I didn't even run those 15 laps. Wow. Every world record is obviously so, so tough, but to me, I thought that world record was out of touch.